Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever Punchline Live Comedy Game Show. Put your hands together for the host tonight, all the way from San Francisco, bringing the funny to Shanghai, it is Joe Closer! Guys, give yourselves a big round of applause, please. Yes! Awesome. Uh, I'm a little jet lag. I apologize if I'm crazy. My eyes are wide. I've been walking around the city. Not really the city to walk around when you're jet lag looking for quiet, is it? And holy <laughs> shit, the only thing that's quiet are the e-bikes, which I never see coming. <laughs> And somebody needs to explain to me why some of them have uh, oven mitts on them. I don't, yeah, why? Yeah, that's, even you guys are like, yeah, why? Holy shit. I'm gonna explain this to you right now. Here's what we're gonna do. Thank you so much for showing up. This is gonna be a fun night for all of you. I'm gonna bring up your first comedian for the night. And after he is done performing, we're gonna pick three names out of, uh, out of the bucket in the back. That's classy. And uh, when you hear your name, come on up, have a seat at the table, and I'm gonna ask you questions based on the stand-up that you just saw. First person to get five questions correct wins the round. We'll have two rounds, and then the winners of those rounds will square off against each other in the speed round. Sound exciting? Yeah! Okay, all right, Anna, where are you from? From England. From England, okay. You have no accent. Really? <laughs> okay, fuck me. Moving on. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I, and what brought you out here? Um, I came here to work. Okay. <laughs> Jesse, you've got to be more interesting than Hannah. <laughs> Hannah came here to work. Who knew? <laughs> Let's go back to Hannah now because I just gave. What, what did you come here to do as a job? Um, I was a landscape architect. You were a landscape architect. <laughs> And now I don't do anything. <laughs> now I just come is that here. because everything is paved here? Is that what it is? You just showed up and you're like, they don't need my expertise. Oh. Damn, all right, Jesse, brought your beer. I appreciate that. That is good. That is a man with a problem, let's be honest. It is what it is. Where are you from, Jesse? St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis, Missouri, all right. Yeah, I was from Illinois. That's why we both look like Nazis. <laughs> Yeah. And what brought you out here? Work, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did not think these questions would be the complicated. Are you also a landscape architect? I do, or? I, do. I do landscaping. Okay. No, no, I don't. No. What do you do? <laughs> I, work on, I work on medical equipment. You work on medical equipment? Yeah. Wow. I, mean, I so, fix it when it breaks. Yeah. Somebody should. Holy crap. <laughs> Obamacare is working here. All right. <laughs> and land. And happy birthday, Lynn. Thank you. Yeah. What would you like for your birthday? Um, for this to be over? <laughs> All of it. And a good laugh. A good laugh? I think we're going to get you that. I hope. I think we're going to get you that. And what do you do, Lynn? Um, I just started a new company. You started your own company? Yeah. Holy crap. How Chinese is that? <laughs> Look at this situation over here. <laughs> <laughs> you, do you need any landscapers or anything like that? Do you have any medical equipment that's broken? What, what did, what's your company? Oh, it's a PR company. It's a PR company. Holy shit. Let's talk after the show. I mean, we could use some PR, you know? That'd be nice. Yeah, all right. You guys saw Chris, correct? <laughs> Holy crap. You guys, I'm not a cop. I didn't pull you over. You know, you're not going to get kicked out. Your visas are okay, all right? It's all good, all right? I have the questions right here in my hand, very specially prepared. Uh, I'm going to ask you to put your hands above the bells. These are, you want to test them? Make sure our electronics work. Oh, that's <laughs> Feels like Christmas over, doesn't it? That is beautiful. All right. When you think you know the answer, hit the bell. Okay. Uh, voice of is going to be our tiebreaker. And audience, if you know the answer, do not yell it out because we have a valuable prize on the line. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. What's that? It's valuable. 
<laughs> it's actually, it's two tickets to come back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a bottle of wine. And a lawnmower. I'm just gonna throw that in. Just to be me. All right. The, uh, the guy who lives next door to me does yoga every morning at 6 a.m. Nice. It always wakes me up. I say yoga, he actually just bends over the balcony and coughs his guts up. <laughs> it's fair enough, really. Have you seen the air here? What a question. Nobody should be able to see air. <laughs> what does Chris's neighbor do every morning? Oh, Hannah! Cough his lungs up over the balcony. Yoga? Yoga. We will take that, yes. I like that the audience stepped in to help you there. You figure being unemployed, you would have paid attention more. That's all right. There are only two things that I don't like in China. Chinese air and air China. A coincidence? I think not. One of them is going to kill me eventually. All right, next question. That's one for Hannah. Pretty good. Name two things Chris doesn't like in China. Ooh, Hannah! <laughs> Chinese air and air China. That is correct, yeah. Hannah is on fire. Two points on the board. First person to get five wins, so you two, come on. <laughs> She's got it. <laughs> I, I, I'm rooting for you, Jesse, just because of the, the Illinois-St. Louis connection, you know. Maybe if your hand was above the bell instead of on the beer, you might be doing a little bit better. That's the guy I want fixing my iron lung. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't get used to people pushing in front of me in queues. An old lady did it to me just this week at the supermarket which put me in a very difficult position because I had two baskets which I had to put down so I could punch her in the back of the head. <laughs> Next question, here we go. What did an old lady do to Chris? Hannah with a quiet chime in. <laughs> <laughs> Stood in front of him in the supermarket in the lion. That is acceptable, yes. <laughs> That is correct, yes! Woo! Don't be it, you're, you're on fire! You're leading this! You're leading! You got a drunk tech worker and a lady who started her own company. You don't have a job and you're kicking ass! You're on fire! I, uh, I want to move out to my apartment because my housemate's main hobby is farting <laughs> next to the air purifier <laughs> and watching the light change from green <laughs> to yellow. <laughs> He's aiming for red. I don't want to be around for that. <laughs> Next question. An audience, if you know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't read that right. <laughs> What does Chris not want to see turn red? What? What does Chris... Oh, oh Hannah! <laughs> no Come on, Hannah! <laughs> that is correct! <laughs> Hannah, this is very exciting. For me, apparently. <laughs> Jesse wants this round to end because his beer's out. So. <laughs> You now have four points. This next question, you could be the winner of this round. <laughs> You'll have to come back. <laughs> but you two still statistically have no chance. But let's... Jesse, oh, that's good. They're bonding. That's good. <laughs> be visiting Liverpool at Christmas. I, I just booked my flights. Whenever I'm back, I like to get a health check. Last time, when I told the nurse that I'd lived in Asia for three years, she said, have you had sex with anybody during that time? <laughs> yes, you cheeky bitch. <laughs> she said, okay, if you've got anything, 
we'll text you within the next two weeks. Sorry, what? You'll text me. <laughs> what are you gonna text me? You've got AIDS. Sad face. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Complete this sentence. Oh. Quote, you got AIDS. judges table now. <laughs> this is great. Okay. Robert, where are you from? San Francisco. No way. Really? Can I get a ride home? <laughs> are you really from there? Yes. How long have you been out here? Five months. Wow. Okay. That's four and a half months more than I have been here. So. What brought you out here? I work in an office. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone's got stunningly boring professions. <laughs> you work in an office is like the donkey? Like what, what, like what do you do in the office? I shuffle papers. <laughs> Moving on, all right. Andy Dick, it's great to have you here tonight. I have no idea who that is. That's all right. <laughs> That's all right, neither to this side of the room. Ben, where are you from? Uh, Essex. Essex. I don't have a map on the fucking wall, Ben, where... It's London. It's London, thank you, yeah. Like, I'm American, I don't know geography, all right? Just go with England. Is that near Harry Potter's house, or is that... Yeah, Essex, all right. San Francisco, Essex, and I'm... Ben! Benjamin? No, you're Ben. I'm sorry, I can't read... George. George, I'm sorry. Wow, you are a doctor with that hand right now. <laughs> George, where are you from? Beijing. Beijing, all right, wow. And what brought you down here? I moved here like two years ago. Everybody is giving incredibly literate <laughs> answers. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you what you do for a living. I work in the office. <laughs> has, uh, has Robert ever shuffled your papers? <laughs> You're looking quite homophobic there in the middle. <laughs> That's okay. We have gay people all over the world, Ben. I don't know where fucking Ling, wherever you're, oh yes, all right. Look, the gay guy found the bell, all right. All right, gentlemen, are you ready to play round two? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One guy is, all right. So I'm dating, dating, yeah. I'm not too sure about dating. with a guy without teeth. Yes. Ben, that is correct, yes. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's amazing that you three had to think about that. <laughs> it was like you didn't even see the stand-up. You were like looking at her like, yeah, I think she might, I think she might. <laughs> Something you just saw up here less than five minutes ago. 
I see why you're shuffling paper to him. Dude. <laughs> what did the kids at the school, do I need her to bring her, come back? And, oh, Ben with a soft chime in. Ugly? That is correct. <laughs> I, I, I like how you answered that, like, ugly? That is correct. Benjamin, you're here, right? Or you're, oh, I keep looking, oh, fuck me, all right. You know what? There are all these ugly people. Without ugly people, there will be no beautiful people. Without ugly people, how can we tell that beautiful people are beautiful? The world will be full of ugly people. Can you imagine a world with people looking like you? <laughs> yes, yuck. According to Alana, what does the world need more of? <laughs> Ugly people. Ugly people is correct! <laughs> were, were you two in the room? Okay. Beer, all right. Well, I, I, weren't you here fixing medical equipment in the first round? Oh my god. Ben, what do you do? I didn't even ask you. Um... Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I, I do marketing. You do marketing? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What, that's very vague. What is that? I try to keep it that way, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great marketing. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do? I can't tell you. <laughs> If you don't excel and you don't flop, you can just kind of float along in the middle and everything's fine. So you're a low achiever? Is that what you're telling us? Mid-level. Mid-level. Mid oh, yeah. so you're aiming for yeah, mid-management. You get noticed. Okay. And you, you don't want to get noticed. And deported. Or... So you're not a marketer, you're a drug dealer. Is that <laughs> That's what you're telling me. A businessman. A businessman. <laughs> Businessman. All right. Well, Ben, you're you're on fire. It's probably the coke. Uh, it's gonna go somewhere, right? You got you got two points on the board. Uh, Roberts is kind of looking at you like yummy, and <laughs> here's George. He works in an office. It's probably your importer exporter. Now listen, are we Julia? You go back to school, and you wipe your ugly little eyes, and you blow your ugly little nose, and you stick your ugly little chin out, and you go ahead, you tell them, oh yes, you're ugly, all right? But you're then proud of your beautiful mom. <laughs> Next question, what is Alana, oh wait, what, what is Alana's child proud of? Hey! We can't accept that. That's, that's one point for the audience. Who gave us the answer in female stereo? I like that. But you guys didn't answer, so we're still two for the Coke dealer and zero and zero on the end. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, fucking write it, George. It's great. Now it looks like you've got tasties on. The other day, I saw this woman at a restaurant, and then she's feeding her baby food. And her baby's like five months, a year old, oh, still sitting in a baby chair. Some luxury baby chair. Somebody made a chair for babies. Nobody ever made a chair for me. Well, <laughs> sitting in a baby chair. And then that woman, she's feeding the baby spaghetti and white sauce. And I'm just angry, staring at this situation. When do people start feeding baby spaghetti? I eat spaghetti. <laughs> and that's because I deserve it. I eat spaghetti. And I know whether it's uncooked or too cooked. I eat spaghetti, and I know whether it should go with green sauce, white sauce, or red sauce. I know spaghetti because I know it's spaghetti. I know it's not linguine or pasta. I know it's bloody spaghetti. <laughs> and I order it myself. And I order it with my own money. <laughs> A five-month-old baby can't even say the word spaghetti. In the restaurant, what is the 
woman feeding her spaghetti. That is correct, Roberts. Wow, we have a game now. Who, who would have thought that's all it takes? Go, Robert! So is he mentoring you now, Ben? Shuffling is it, it's like, yeah, you don't want to get confused. And I order it myself. And I order it with my own money. A five-month-old baby can't even say the word spaghetti. In my opinion, if you can say it, you don't deserve to be. Next question. What can't a baby say? Spaghetti. That is correct, Ben, yes! Robert, you got a fan! That is awesome! And George, yes! What does George do? And then I'll go to the office. Yeah, no, but I'm at... Oh, okay. Good answer. This, this, this audience is like, they're very logical and they're heckling. <laughs> They're like, we're not fucking around. This is the right answer. Oh, I already asked that question. Holy crap. I was standing in back watching a lot of set, which was very funny, and I'm writing the questions out, and I realized the answer to 80% of her act is spaghetti. That's good, Ben. Now we got you trained like a monkey. That's good. You know, they have, they have dog food, they have like robot bones, they have like rubber bacon, they should have Rubber spaghetti for babies. <laughs> Throw it, baby. Go ahead, baby. Chew on it. And keep chewing until you can pronounce spaghetti. You got one? Yeah, you, are you bringing me a question on a card? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. All right, bring. Let's just stop the show and grind it to a fucking halt <laughs> while we wait for a telegram to come in. <laughs> Am I supposed to read that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I need a prescription. Yeah. That, that's all right. We got a guy that fixes medical shit here, so. Is it in Chinese? Yes. Uh, that didn't help, but I feel good. That's the coke. That is the best prescription. <laughs> That's great, it's visual coke. A lot of, your handwriting is like, this is stalker handwriting. Like, uh, look at this, there's actually like, she drew a little diagram of a baby chair. And I assume that's, that's, oh! Uh, what does Alana think baby spaghetti should be made out of? Bravo. That is correct! Ben! How many, how many points does Ben have now? No, that's four. 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 Yeah. Four. Wow, crowd. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Only the best and the brightest in Shanghai. Uh, <laughs> four, five. It's like this. This now you guys are gonna have to have a knife fight. This is awesome. <laughs> All right, Ben, you got four. This could be it. I hope it is because I have no other questions. And one of me chimes in. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. It's uh, at least the uh, the voice, the, the disembodied voice. I'm gonna tell you it's five points. Is it five points? Track. Ben, Ben is the winner. Ben, you're the winner of round two! That is awesome! Gentlemen, thank you very much, George. Ben, you're the winner, stick around, don't leave yet, and snaking away there. There goes Robert. Holy crap. Crowd, are you enjoying yourselves? Excellent. We are now going to bring up your final comedian. Uh, these are okay. We've got Hannah and Ben. How convenient! You two are <laughs> right next to each other. <laughs> Hannah, could you landscape his haircut? All right. Let's get that Harry Potter shit under control. <laughs> she could. Uh, do, do you two know each other? No, never. <laughs> no, never. That's. <laughs> Okay, well, this is going to be incredibly awkward for you when you get home. Where you don't know each other. All right, all 
of your questions for the speed round are going to be based on this next comedian's act. And I should tell you, the speed round, you will have 60 seconds to get as many questions right as you can. And I hope to God, 80% of it doesn't end on spaghetti. <laughs> Big round of applause. Uh, actually, this is one of my favorite performers in Shanghai, Drew Freilich. <laughs> friend and uh, she said, hey, what, have you heard of this joke before? <laughs> What's that? Advantage. Advantage? She wants to win. Oh my gosh. All right. Let me start over. Okay. Hey, how's everybody doing? Yeah, that was a little way less enthusiastic. <laughs> so I was out with a friend the other day. She said, can you say a prayer for the meal? in Chinese, which my Chinese is, you know, it's okay, but I can't pray in Chinese. Like, if I say a prayer in Chinese, it just sounds like I'm talking to the guard in my complex, you know? Like, if I say a prayer in Chinese, it sounds something like this. Dear Lord, Hello. <laughs> I'm Drew. I'm uh, uh, not. Uh, I'm not. 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 I'm Mama, <laughs> What are the sins ni yama? Ni yao suba. Ha ha ha, na wo wo jo gei ni ya. Ni mei guan qi, ni na hao la. Ni na hao la. Ha. Mei guan qi, mei guan qi. Ni shi fa le ma? Wo wo mei you. Like in shiny bar, Toyan bar, Toyan, Toyan, make one sheet, 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 <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so we got any sports fans in here? We got sports fans? Yeah? I've been watching I've, I've been watching sports my entire life. I spend so much time watching sports because I feel like I don't know, it's like a manly thing to do, right? Watch sports. I don't know, crowd, do you feel like that's a manly thing to do? <laughs> no. <laughs> I kind of agree with the whiny shit. You know? I don't. I mean, I'm starting to think it's like a complete waste of time because it's someone else's life. You know, if somebody scores a touchdown or a goal or makes a home run, what does it matter to me? It has no relation to my life whatsoever. Now, the more manly thing to do would be for me to just live in my own life. Right? It's like, well, why can't I do that, you know? Why can't we have the same excitement for our own lives that we have for sports? Like, it's not funny, but it will be, hopefully. 
This is the profound part. I'll get you the funny part after. Why can't we do that, you know? What would that sound like? What would it sound like if there was a broadcast of our real lives? Sounds something like this. This is the funny part. You're watching RLB, Real Life Broadcasting. Your life live. Welcome to Sunny Shanghai, folks. If you're just joining us, we're live from Drew's office. It's Friday, 3 p.m., only two hours to go until the weekend. I'm Dan Smack, a man along with my partner in crime, Chris Pansy. Chris, what's going on here? Well... As you said, Dan, we're here at Drew's office, only two hours until the weekend. Still no sign of Drew's boss, and he got a WeChat message around lunchtime saying that him and his friends were going to go to the bar around 4.30 for happy hour beers. A lot going through his mind right now, but mostly he's got to be thinking about how to lie low and slip out the door unnoticed early. Well, he's sitting at his desk making an Excel sheet. Looks like he's going to go ahead and sum up column D. <laughs> and he's getting up to get a drink of water. Well, uh, also, uh, Dan, it's important to keep in mind, Drew was not completely filled up by his lunch this afternoon. He ordered KFC about 25 minutes ago, and you got to wonder, how much is that factoring into his decision to have not left the office by now? Well, he's taking a long time to drink that glass of water. Looks like he's trying to run out the clock on this work week. He's drinking, 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 and gone! That water is gone. You're watching RLB live broadcast of Drew's postmodern white collar existence. RLB is also being simulcast on. In Spanish, channel 97, Vita Real, and in Chinese, channel 104, Wu Yao, the Shang Hua. Él está preparando un artículo de Excel. Él está preparando a su comida de KFC. Bebiendo un vaso de agua con la mano derecha. Sube. Sube la mano, la toma, toma. Respira, respira, toma, 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 y go! Well, we got uh, moving over by the door. Looks like the doorknob is turning. Could this be the KFC that he's been waiting for? No! It's his boss coming in for a late Friday afternoon meeting. Kiss those happy hour beers. Goodbye, everybody. We're going into unpaid overtime. This is RLB, Real Life Broadcasting, Your Life Live. RLB is brought to you by Ford Truck. If you don't drive a Ford Truck, you're not a real man. We'll be back after this short commercial break. <laughs> Built for tough. <laughs>
about the cars and switch. Dun 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 dun. The seconds will don't look over there. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> no bells this time. <laughs> right? When we get down to 10 seconds, he's going to count them out. You have to get as many questions correct as you can. Are you ready for this challenge, no. George Ben? Ready, ready, ready. Sure, sure. All right. Thank you, he needs to go to the bathroom. Why is your lawyer heckling for you now? I knew English healthcare was good, but I didn't know your bladder had special counsel. Holy shit, can you fix that? All right. Audience, I need you to be quiet. This is very important. Ben's going to win tickets to come see me again. Here we go, Ben. And go. What can't Drew pray in? Chinese. Correct. Who is Drew Worry God thinks is praying to him? A uh, child? What? Incorrect. <laughs> what does Drew ask God what he wants? Next. <laughs> <laughs> what does Drew offer God? This is only Chinese. His first job. <laughs> Audience, you cannot respond. <laughs> what is a manly thing to do? Well, accept that. <laughs> what did what did Drew agree with? What did Drew agree with in the audience, or who did Drew agree with in the audience? Someone that would be the whiny <laughs> chick. We'll accept that. <laughs> what is RLP? Nine, eight, the radio seven, six, your five, four, three, two. One. Ready to ride it? Oh, that is correct. Voice of how many did you get? Three. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Thank you. you may take your seat. Now let's see if Hannah can best that. I'm kind of thinking she will. <laughs> let's bring Hannah back out of the isolation booth. She will get the same questions. She's way better looking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is, yes, that is, 
He is you're... holding two beers. So. <laughs> Why are you preoccupied with this man's alcohol consumption? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, yeah. Most times people come to the show to have a comedian, not other audience members. <laughs> Dial down, it's okay. Holy shit. All right, where's Hannah? Yeah. All right, Hannah, come on back. Yeah. Stand right there in front of that <laughs> microphone. <laughs> there. Thank you so much. You are, <laughs> you are, you are, you are welcome so much. All right, <laughs> Hannah. I wish the prize was a job, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? We got a PR guy and two people that shuffle shit in an office, so... And him. All right. Here's how this is going to work. You have 60 seconds, right, to get as many of these correct mm -hmm. as you can. You can pass. Very, very good question. <laughs> Somebody else did not ask that question. <laughs> the voice of in the back is going to let you know when you have 10 seconds left. All right, are you ready, Hannah? Woo! You're ready, and audience. <laughs> Woo! You, actually, I was going to say, don't do that. <laughs> but thank you for sonically breaking my eardrum. Here we go, voice of... What can't Drew pray in? Uh, Chinese. Correct. <laughs> Who is Drew worried God thinks is praying to him? <laughs> Drew? <laughs> <laughs> what does Drew ask God what he wants? Do you want my sins? We'll accept that. <laughs> what, what's a manly thing to do? Um, not watch sports. Does that count? That counts! We'll accept that! <laughs> Who did Drew agree with in the audience? Uh, this lovely girl here. I believe he said wine each other. We'll accept that! <laughs> what is RLB? Uh, oh. Uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Your life podcast? That is correct! Oh. And a nice dance! Where, where is RLB film? <laughs> you can answer the question. How many did she get? She got a ball. Five. She won. Five. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to walk past this guy. <laughs> Anna, you are the winner.